Hello, good afternoon. So we're at 179 Anderson. So I wanted to kind of see what the area looks like. There's actually nothing on that side. So maybe we can find out about, you know, if this was the home. Find out about uh, who owns that piece. I could give you a little extra land space that you were looking for. Pretty calm street. It's right off of Malabar. Malabar is the main road, but it's all the way down there. This road is pretty pretty steady. Right now I'm in the middle of the street and it's it's good. So kind of see what we're looking at. Completely fenced around towards the front. Awesome. It looks like uh, this person that lives right there, they own this little lot land right here with where the camper is at. That probably would uh, probably be Lori's pet peeve just to see a, a camper just sitting slam right in the middle. But I just wanted to you know put that out there. Also, boom, you got that house over here. Nice house on this side as well. And they look like they bought the lot that was next door to them too because they got extra space. And then that house faces the other street, Aladdin. So, we're gonna come from here. Roof looks nice. Super open. Nothing too bad, no like um, normal concrete cracks, but nothing like separation. I've seen that in a couple of homes recently, so I just always take an extra look. This looks good so far. Okay, you can kind of see the front. You can kind of see the front. <laughs> and the child running past. Okay. I know uh, Lori would definitely put some extra love and touch into that this front la landscaping, but you do have your pillars. Awesome. No like real space to do anything with. They're pretty close, pretty tight squeeze. So I mean, you could put something towards the front of the house, but nothing like a you can put a chair or anything out here. So nice and open. You like that so when you walk in on this left side that'll be your formal dining room area it's a nice medium as i like to say it's not small but it's not like too big but this definitely wouldn't be a bling room um you would need a little bit more space than that this side on the right looks like more space than on the on the left side so that's more deeper so that if you wanted to cut this part off, make it a bling room, or you could totally do that. This side is a little too small for that. Um, for me, it could totally, you know, I've seen that room. You, you need all the space you can get. <laughs> so you got your pantry. You get a little up and down kind of feel to it. Nice open right now i don't think there's a i try to turn on the light i don't think the light's on i gotta figure it out but still decent natural light coming in and it's at two o'clock in the afternoon and it's raining so not bad okay so new appliances as you can tell which is great Ooh, i mean really new so the light's definitely supposed to be working. Or maybe I'm just not flipping the right switch. But extremely new. Nice and frozen cold. Oh, awesome. Very, very, very new. They haven't even put the shelves on so new, okay? So all appliances new. This is definitely for Micah. Just a good cleaning would do. You have this like tan wood. The inside looks decent, which is good. Yeah. Again, microwave, oven, and dishwasher. 
probably got it in a full package, but definitely all new. Refrigerator, complete, all new appliances. Got some staining right here, okay. Nothing major, just wanted to let you know. Like I said, a good cleaning would, would be great. Do you got some outlets going on over here? Got the dishwasher. Brand spanking new. You got the double sink. So these are super, not, definitely not deep. Go about the width, the length of my hand. Like that's it. They're pretty, pretty small. Um, probably fix something right over here. You can see they kind of caulked it on and on the side. Just wanted you to see that as well. So the kitchen area is a nice size. I will give you that. Kitchen area is a decent size. You might have to close that. You might have to play with it as far as um, where you want to put a table. If you put a table in here, I think maybe something along that line, kind of shorter, but I mean, that if you put a table here, it would kind of go through the walkway. So you could put something like maybe a hutch or something along the wall, but I would really wouldn't put a table necessarily, you know, you didn't put an island there, but I really wouldn't do it. A table, just to, you know, kind of let you know, but you got some room at the top, put a little accents up there. Now you're gonna walk in some of these little as you can see, these need to be changed out, but there go to that light. Now that one works, but yeah, those need to be fixed. This is the master. This is super deep, very long. So that's a good thing. Nice size master. Give it a good paint job, definitely. Um, carpet doesn't look bad for it to be that white carpet. So that's not bad. Probably would want to change out the ceiling fan, but it's a decent size room. You walk in, it's gonna be a bathroom area. Nice size bathroom area. You got the double sinks. And then you got your medicine cabinet, which is great. Toilet here, nice soaker. This is a nice size um, uh, step down shower. It'll definitely fit both of you guys, which is great. You do have your closet. Closet does have the glass doors on it. So closet has glass doors on it. Nice walk in. Not major, not huge, but decent. Nice size walk-in. I would, like I said, I would probably do a custom closet and things like that to give you, you know, work with the full amount of the space. But that is the master. So you do have that split floor plan. Um, I know you probably don't like carpet. I don't know about the carpet when it comes to putting the chairs at the breakfast bar. You know, you kind of want something to, the food, people sitting there with, food and then drop it on the carpet. I don't know about that. So you probably would, if there is a stain, there's a few stains. There's some, definitely. Okay. But decent size space you could do to the two couches here. You could potentially do a sectional, but Mm, it would have to be like a not too big of one. You can start it from this way and it comes out here just because you don't want it too big and to cut off too much of that walkway if you do decide to put the bar stools there. Okay. Got a nice area here. So completely screened in. Do have, let me see, I only see one actual ripped screen. Uh, actually, 
let's make it well it's not completely ripped but that one's damaged and you got one that's uh kind of cut right there you do have um the protector around the pool which is great kind of see pool's not bad um you got some spotting on here give you kind of like a close-up on it but it's not bad at all i'm gonna try to let's see oh sometimes it could be a hassle when you gotta open these stupid things up okay all right okay all right there we go boom so let me put my little sorry my finger in there i don't want to go over the phone and all of a sudden my phone falls in <laughs> not bad you got some stains nothing major but it, it, it has some stainage um this needs to be filled back up it's halfway down as of right now but obviously the pump's not running anything like that but there goes that missing that ripped screen right there uh, well actually there's a couple too i didn't realize it okay and just a nice good like power washing and cleaning on the top you do got some steps here and some steps as you can see right along that way and that's pretty much it as far as the steps go there's not even any steps into the that little soaker area all right we're gonna walk around it's fully fenced you still got more than enough space um for the dogs as you can see fence good right around here i would probably want to it's kind of leveled up here so uh, thinking about i don't you know if you take the dogs out they're so tiny they can pretty much fit through these little gaps so that's something to think about when it comes to the dogs they got some rock kind of hide in here but it towards the back the side is good but the back it definitely has kind of like you can kind of see you can, uh, the dog could easily go underneath the fence area and it's only around that back area and starting on that side once you get to about here again it's pretty tight except in that little one little corner they must have hung their clothes outside as you can see they got that this this nice screamed out i'm not quite sure what that thing is um over there i would have to find that out don't know what that is at all you probably know better than me but this is the heater this is the filter system for the pool that's the heater for the pool. Not quite sure. Gas, Amerigas. Hmm. Is gas? Is that gas? I don't, I don't know. I'll have to find out. <laughs> okay. You got two sides of egress. So I left from that side. I'm going to come back in from this side. And then you have a door right here. That door probably goes right out to where the pool is from that room. Which is funny because from the master, you don't got no entryway. But close this for me. Okay. Let's see the other sides of the room. Nice little hallway down here. I will say that. Um, doesn't give much light. Well, that light's out. But... You do have a nice elongated hallway. So let's go all the way down to the end. Yep. So you're gonna have your laundry room here. 
Okay, wash and dryer. I know Lori's not really a big fan now. <laughs> she likes it separate from the um, garage. Okay. So this light wasn't working, but two car garage. We got a little storage space right over here. Awesome. Again, your laundry area. You're gonna come down. You got a room right here. The room's a nice size. So this is a nice size room. Really nice size room. And a nice window. You're right outside from where the AC system is where the gate is before you hit the side gate. Decent closet space. Okay, awesome. You're gonna come right on out there. One of those skinny linen closets, <laughs> like we've seen in Hutt Hutchins, remember? Okay, so nice little skinny linen. We're gonna go down the hall more. Turn that light on. And down the hall more. Again, I think same about size room, just a little bit more rectangular instead of squared. Okay. Nice size closet, decent. Closer to the gate and the fence. Okay, so this is nice. Your TV probably will go here because it goes a little outlet. Then you got bedroom three. This one's bigger, even bigger. So this is one, this will be a nice little bling little setup here. This will be a nice little bling setup. I like that. This has, it's kind of hidden, but it has tons of space and kind of deep out. I do like this part. Um, got that here. Got a nice size closet. I think this is a huge room. It would be perfect for a bling room as far as space wise goes. I want you to kind of see. Rooms are all nice sizes. This one is a huge one. So right beside there is the bathroom. So you got your bathroom here. Probably this is like that pill and stick or laminate. Definitely want to take that on up if you can. Um, got the one sink. Eventually gonna have to probably replace that little bottom half, but that's nothing major. Okay, then you got your um, shower tub combo here. Nice, and then goes that door that I was talking about that goes straight out to the pool. Okay, so that's awesome. So it's literally like just one long hallway down this way. But nice amount of space. Let me know what you think. Alrighty, guys.